Hi everyone, this is Courtney. Hey Brady. From Ruby Red Farm. Today we're going to be out in the greenhouse getting it ready for spring. So I think like a lot of people, we came in with really good intentions last year. Brandon worked his tail off for well over a year to get this greenhouse finished. And at the end of the season, time got away from us and we ended up just completely letting this place go. So I will show you quickly how bad it is. Um, but what are we hoping to use this greenhouse for? Uh, pretty much just starts and, and some of our early season stuff, trying to get, get it in the ground now instead of waiting until, you know, three months from now, so, or two months from now. Yeah, here in Indiana, we really can't plant until the first or second week of May, depending on the forecast. But some of those more cold tolerant plants, we can get by with planting them now. This greenhouse is brand new for us. And so we do not really know what we're doing yet with the greenhouse. It's all trial by fire. We're learning as we go. You can hear the vicious wind outside. It's about 35, maybe 40. Yeah, outside. It's super windy outside. In here, it's probably about 60 or so. It's actually pretty comfortable in here right now. Yeah. Now we have a lot of vents in here that are currently open that will probably end up needing to close at least this week because we do have some cold temps the next few days. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and basically get this place back into ship shape so we can actually use it. These crates, there are raised beds, if you will. Uh, there was some material we had chipped in from work, came in those, and they were going to throw them out, and it cost the company a lot of money, and not a lot of money, but enough money that it's like, yeah, if anybody wants them, they can have them. So I picked them up. Um, we put just a plastic liner in them. Uh, there is a hole drilled in the bottom of them so they can drain through. Uh, but we, we basically put a layer of wood, sticks, uh, debris, if you will, something that'll decompose over the t over time, a layer of manure, and then a layer of topsoil on top, some peat moss mixed in as well. So um, overall, it's really good soil. It is settled about four to six inches over the last year. We just need to help bring the dirt up with with additional either uh, compost, manure, or topsoil. If you happen to notice these poor cabbages, so it was really nice out the other day, like 70 and beautiful. So I took all my cabbage starts outside to let them get fresh air. And the chickens thought that was very nice of me and proceeded to eat all of them. So these were the ones that were in the best shape that I am attempting to revive. They're probably all gonna die and become chicken food. But I tried, and I have a few more inside that I thankfully kept in the house to be safe, and that ended up being a good decision. <laughs> Do we, well, do you want to set this box up first? 
We can. I mean, we'll clear a spot and then we'll set the box up. Yeah. Because then we can move this box over, and then I can start working on our shelves. And that. Yep. I would very much like some shelves. So what's what's the plan with the shelves? Uh, I think. We've got a bunch of old shelf hangers from the old bathroom. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to put them maybe three per row, and then I'll put I don't know one by ten or something like that on top of them, just across. Yeah. And we'll go up about I don't know probably about that tall for now. Um, are you worried about weight at all? Not really. Are you worried about water at all? No. It's all really. going to be getting watered. Right yeah, now. but it should in theory here right now. It should okay. be. I mean, eventually I'll need to replace it with something a little more substantial, but well, I want to put metal wire racks. I say that's but probably what we need to do. But do we already have the other boards? No, no, I never started them. I'm just trying to reuse what we got. You know I'm not mechanical, so I'm just going to have to see it. But it sounds good. Can you hear me, Victor? Yep. Hold on. all fly by the super fan. I have an idea in my head. Never trust what you find at your local store. The plan is there will be a handle between the two to get it up on it. Cool. So it can't go in or out. should be said that we're not planning on this greenhouse being a 12, 12 months out of the year greenhouse. Um, our goal is to get it to be more like a nine or ten month greenhouse. We don't plan on heating it. Um, if we get to that point, I guess we would. It's not even completely airtight. We're again just really trying to extend the season, so start it a little sooner and finish it a little bit later. And it, this type of a design is perfect for that. And it honestly does make nice winter storage for it some does. of the stuff that we really can't right. store anywhere else, like our waters for the chickens. It's really nice to be able to bring them in here those two really cold months out of the year and not have to take up space somewhere else.
Cool. I'll give it a try. Give it a little push down when you're shutting it, and it'll be fine. I want to explain this a little bit. The, these are a design that I came up with. Um, you know, Courtney's mentioned before, I'm an engineer by trade, so I toy around with some stuff from time to time. Anyway, I have a buddy of mine that has a uh, plasma table. I sent him a file for it. He printed it out. Made out of stainless, so they should last, you know, forever, essentially. Um, but my plan was to have it in multiple positions, so if it's a, a really windy day like today, you can, but it's warm outside, not unlike today, you can at least open it up partially, and then it just kind of latches in place over these couple 716 screws or lags. Uh, but if it's in the middle of summer and it's really hot out and the weather's halfway decent, you can open it up all the way for maximum airflow. So we have four windows, like Courtney said. Um, you'll see me do the other two kind of in passing here. And then, uh, yeah, just a little fun thing. If anybody wants that file and knows somebody who has a plasma table, I'll gladly help you out. Did you draw it up? Yeah. Look at you. I am putting that for your degree to use. Yeah. Oh. And believe it or not, I looked everywhere and I could not find anything simple like this. This is just, we'll call it redneck engineering. Um, redneck with a degree in engineering. How's that? Might coin that term. <laughs> Center. That was about where it was going, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It gave up. Oh. We have a half a room. You broke it. It's actually really sharp. Yeah, it is. So why do we have this? Uh. The reason why I ran this board on the back side of this is to get it so that it slope, get the, the box, planer box, so it slopes into the middle. Uh, the reason being is because we are lining these with plastic. Uh, the plastic, the sole purpose of a plastic is literally just to keep everything contained inside of the box instead of when you water, having everything run out the bottom. We've got the plastic liner, we've got the, the um, the heavier material, which Courtney will show you a video on how to set this box up later. But you have the heavier material, you have heat moss, you'll have dirt, you'll have manure, you'll have all that. Um, if you water that without the plastic liner, it washes through the bottom. So, to keep water from just sitting stagnant in the bottom, what we've done is we've drilled a couple holes through the plastic in the front. And then what we'll do is we run this board on the back side, and that gives it just enough angle so that it runs kind of downhill. So, um, pretty simple. Uh, it's just a little bit of something we've kind of figured out over the years that's helped out. Now we, we do let it drain just directly onto the floor. It's not a big deal. Um, the reason being is because it is a concrete floor in here. Um, the, the whole floor kind of slopes back to the back towards the garden. Um, and then I've got a hole at the back and then a hole in the foundation so that it can drain out. Here we go. All right. How heavy is this thing? Um, it's not that bad. Is it Brandon not that bad or Courtney not that bad? That's Brandon not that bad. Okay. And he's it though. Are you in the 
decent position. Ah, uh, needs to come back my way a little. Casualty from today. Oh. It's alright. I'll replace the uh, broom handle here later on. While you're working on that, I'm going to work on these other two windows. Pretty happy with this. Oh, it looks great. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what to do next. Here is the after. Got a lot of stuff cleaned up. Got that where it belongs. Got handles on our windows that'll lock. Got those mixed in with some new manure. Move this table to a much more convenient location. But it's clean. It is cleaned out and pretty much ready for plants. I'm probably gonna end up buying a little bit of some of that organics in ground soil that I really like. Um, just to mix into the top here, get that height of the dirt up a little bit more, uh, but also just get the color of the soil a little bit better and we'll be ready for plants. So we have a little bit more work to do out here. Uh, you'll see that over the next, I don't know, handful of weeks as far as getting stuff prepped. Uh, I want to put in an automatic drip system for the big beds. Uh, you'll see Courtney work on this bed and get it prepped and ready for some plants. Also get some shelving in and just some little odds and ends stuff to, to kind of bring it all home. So Yeah, but we got a lot of good work done today. Love the handles. Those are pretty slick. On the windows. Those, yeah. yeah, those are pretty awesome. Got everything cleaned out. Got to take basically an inventory of where we're at so we know what else we still have to do before really about April is when I'm hoping to plant a lot of things out here. In general though, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. And like this video for us. Go back and check out a few of our old videos too. For now though, we've still got a whole lot of work to do. This was Courtney and Brandon from Re Red Farm. Have a great day. See you next time. It's pretty in here. It is.